for an art residency here at Le Grand Poison. Um, and so I'm really excited to share with you guys what I'm gonna be doing here, how I got this place, and also like my projects for this summer. The way that this whole thing came together is honestly like destiny, I feel like, and I really wanna share it with you guys because it just goes to show that the more specific you are about your dream, even if you don't know how it's going to come to be, just don't worry about that because universe works in a really crazy way sometimes. So, yeah. Donc en même temps que je filme ça, je vais aussi faire un peu de la peinture. Donc si vous me voyez, je fais un peu comme ça. C'est ce que je suis en train de faire. Du coup, je pense que la dernière vidéo que je vais faire, c'était um, le vlog un peu au milieu de le coronavirus. Et du coup, depuis le coronavirus, euh, j'avais euh, plus accès à mon atelier, à mon école. Et du coup, euh, je n'étais pas trop sûre ce que j'allais faire cet été. So basically, what I was doing before is I was like working in my small studio apartment at home, and it just was not ideal. And also, like, um, what was unfortunate was like I was working on my documentary series, and a part of that was filming. Um, art students at my school and just like my art process and things like that and so that was another thing that was kind of put on hold but so I have been looking and really hoping to find a place for a few months for this summer um, I was just looking for a place with like good lighting and I wasn't expecting anything like extravagant but um, just because it is really hard to find like an art studio in Paris in a way for like a good price but having been said that I did write out in my scripting journal what my ideal place would be so if you guys don't know what scripting is I talk about it in my last vlog but basically you imagine your ideal situation you don't say oh this isn't possible because I don't have the money you just imagine yourself in your ideal situation so I imagine myself 
in this beautiful art studio with really great lighting and I'm like really getting emotional because it's just like so crazy that this actually came to be but um yeah I imagined a place uh like maybe it had like a little outside space and that I could just truly create and um I also said like it would be amazing if I wasn't like completely by myself and like surrounded by other creatives so yeah this was like a few months ago basically that I wrote that out and um I think it's important when you are kind of focused on your dreams as well as once you have been specific about a certain goal you write it out and you just let it go you know <laughs> so that's what I did and I was touring art studios and I had seen that Les Grandes Voisins which is an association and they have it's multiple associations but they have taken over um, an abandoned hospital they have a lot of different things which I'll get into later but um, one of the things that they had was art studios so they actually had like a couple different art studios that were opening up and um, so I decided to come and tour this space and as soon as like I walked in like I had been here before but like as soon as I walked in I just had like this most amazing feeling in my heart and everybody was so kind and um, so we all went around and we're like visiting di the different art studios and basically what we had to do is after we visited we had like a little interview with them and the people who were in charge of you know giving out the studios and then when we got home we'd have to write out what our top three choices were. The lady who was giving us the tour, she opened this studio and I was like, holy fuck, like this place is amazing. Like, I love it so much. These beautiful baies vitres, like these beautiful windows and just like the most amazing energy. So after we visited this place, I just like, I remember like writing on my notepad, like a huge heart. <laughs> Après, on a visité d'autres ateliers qui étaient plus petits euh, dans notre bâtiment. Et puis, on avait un petit entretien où je parlais de mon projet, je parlais de, de mon travail et tout. Et c'était super sympa. Mais puis, quand je rentrais, when I got home, um, I like actually got to look at like what each of the art studios, their pricing were, was. And um, unfortunately, like the first one that I did like a huge heart on, it was way out of my budget, so I didn't even put it on the form. I put three other ones on my form, and I just kind of forgot about it and was like letting it go to the universe. But the next day, I got a call from the lady who was organizing the residencies, and she said, Je sais que t'as pas euh, mis euh, cet atelier avec la grande fenêtre sur ton feuille, mais je me rappelle que t'avais dit pendant la visite que t'aimais bien celle-là. Est-ce que ça t'intéresse de voir cela euh, pour la résidence Et Je dis, bah oui, ça m'intéresse. Euh, par contre, c'est vraiment où ma bougé. Du coup, euh, ça serait pas possible si c'est pas dans ma bougé, tu vois. Même si euh, j'ai adoré et je trouve que c'était génial. Du coup, elle m'a dit qu'elle va voir ce qu'elle peut faire. Et après, euh, elle va me rappeler. Du coup, j'étais hyper genre, oh putain, peut-être, peut-être il y a une chance quand même, je sais pas, enfin, et tout. Et puis, euh, le lendemain, elle m'avait envoyé un courriel et elle m'avait dit que, en fait, ils ont décidé qu'ils vont me laisser euh, avoir cet atelier, l'atelier de mes rêves, euh, d'un me bouger. I just honestly could not believe it because I kid you not like two months earlier when I had written out everything that I was looking for it seemed in a way kind of impossible to find this kind of space in Paris with huge windows beautiful lights an outdoor space um, and like this size and in my budget but I just decided to show up anyway and see and put myself out there and I feel like when you're chasing your dreams your job isn't to figure out how things are gonna work out just keep showing up you know I'm so so happy that 
I get to share this with you guys and that we're gonna make some beautiful things here. So now I'm gonna talk about why this place is so special, Le Grand de Voisin, um, and what I plan on doing here and just how I'm so sure that this whole thing was destiny because as I said in my last vlog, I said that j'étais dessus parce que en fait j'étais en train de filmer de, mes docu-series sur l'art contemporain à Paris. Et en fait, ma éco mon école est fermée jusqu'en octobre, donc je n'étais pas sûre comment j'allais procéder. Ce qui est intéressant à propos de où je suis maintenant, c'est que ce n'est pas que les ateliers. C'est un vrai euh, lieu culturel et euh, un lieu de communauté à Paris. En fait, lundi à vendredi, ils ont vu les réfugiés et les SDF de venir prendre une douche, d'avoir un repas chaud. Et euh, du coup, il y a plein de choses qui se passent. Il y a aussi un ressourcerie, une friperie où ils veulent prendre les vêtements, euh, les meubles et tout ça. Ils le revendent à un bas prix. So I just think it's so incredible to be in the middle of a place having so much things going on. Like, like I said. You know, not just artists, you know, there's architects, film producers, like so many different types of people. Like there's even a guy who has like created his own like um, brasserie, like he's creating beer in the basement. Like, ils ont même un chocolatier, un boulanger, they have uh, like people doing pottery, they have um, artisans having their little boutiques. There's just so many beautiful projects going on in this one place and so the energy is so incredible and magical. So, um, having been said that, I decided to film my second episode in my documentary series here. And what really interests me in this is like from meeting so many different people, I've realized that you can do so many different things and take so many different journeys and paths to arrive at your final destination of like where you end up and like following your dreams, you know? Like I've met so many like people who started doing photography when they're like 40 years old or you know somebody that started out in like design school but they ended up realizing that they were interested in you know helping out refugees and things like that and I really want to share that with you guys and share these inspiring stories because I think it's so important to know that no matter where you are in life, you can always change direction. And even if you didn't go to school for what you want to do, you can still find a way of achieving that dream. So I'm really, really happy to show you the 12th episode of the docu-series on the contemporary because, justement, euh, je pense que ça va être très différent que la première, genre avec le défunt âge, euh, qui a des défunts euh, histoires, les défunts parcours. And I think it's really going to inspire you guys. I've already interviewed like three, four people, and it's inspired me. So I know that it will inspire you guys too. So other than working on this documentary series this summer, I'm really going to try and become invested in this space. I want to try and help out, volunteer, and just meet um, and connect with the maximum people as I can. I think that as a creative person, you have a choice. You can either be the creative person that is, you know, in your corner, in your little isolated studio, or you can be somebody that says, I want to be a part of a community and work on collaborative projects. I'm obviously going to be working on my own stuff as well, um, my sculptures, my videos, and everything like that, but I don't want to be the artist that is stuck in her corner. You know, that is one of the biggest lessons I've ever learned. When I first started art school, I was afraid that if I socialized too much, that it was going to be a distraction. But what I realized is your biggest gift in life can be collaboration and meeting other types of people. So that's the kind of person I want to be. I want to be like a valuable part of a community, you know? So I'm also excited to be here because it's in the 14e, it's in the 14th arrondissement and it's not really um, a part of Paris. I know that well. Um, I live in the east of Paris and so I'm excited to be here and um, I think that most of the summer I'm going to be doing vlogs 
and just like um, showing you guys what daily life here is like and working on this uh, docu-series. And I also wanted to say thank you to you guys and most specifically my patrons on Patreon because you guys supporting me and watching me and being so encouraging um, has given me so much love in my heart. So I hope that this video could inspire you in some way. I know I've been getting a lot of messages from you guys lately saying that you are kind of in between two decisions or you're feeling lost and I really feel badly sometimes that I can't write back to all of you but I just thought of this quote the other day from Neil Gellman and I just kind of feel like I should say that right now <laughs> so he was talking about how in life you should think about your dream as a distant mountain Whatever that dream is, whether you want to be an actor, whether you want to be a singer, whether you want to be, I don't know, like a lawyer, doesn't matter. Think about your dream as a distant mountain that you're walking towards. If you're not sure what, dis what choice to make in life, ask yourself, is this decision going to bring me closer to the mountain or further away from the mountain? And if it's going to bring you closer to the mountain, then it's the right choice. So whether you feel like you're not moving closer to the mountain fast enough, it doesn't matter because you're still moving towards that mountain. Whether you've made mistakes on the way to the mountain, it doesn't matter because you are still moving closer to the mountain, you know? And it's such a simple concept, but I really think that that's something that I'm gonna keep in mind in the future, is I think it's so important to always have your objectives and your dreams be specific about them and always have them in the distant future, something that you're looking forward to. Because even if that mountain seems really far away, even if it seems enormous and not something that you could ever climb, one day you will because every day you're moving closer to it and you're making decisions that are bringing you closer to that mountain so i know that that doesn't have like a lot to do with this video but i just had this really random feeling that i should share that with you guys so yeah that's something that i'm going to be thinking about in the future and i hope that you will too so don't forget to subscribe if you like my videos let me know down below you know what your mountain is because even maybe leaving that comment is bringing you closer to it because you're saying it out loud if you enjoy what i'm doing and you want to support me helping me make better videos i also have podcast episodes on there you can support me on patreon i would really really appreciate it and you can find me on instagram at and i will see you guys very soon i love you and i hope you will have a beautiful week and you will move closer to that mountain okay <laughs> that was so cheesy sorry okay i love you guys bye <laughs>